My favorite spot? The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Love Island. Not secluded, right? Not here. Is, is that smoke? Oh, shit. Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. They really like Speaking of which, we should, kind of stuff. we should probably, you know, get back. Everyone seems to be spoken for here. Like, they've just gone on. Oh shit, I'm being watched by a far. Right, YouTubers, we are going to get to know our main protagonists now. We are going to spend some time with them, you know, get to know what they're about, what they are. This is the like the moment where we get to go, right, I like that character, I don't like that character, I hope that character dies. Maybe, no, nah, I don't want that character to die. And we, <laughs> we get invested if our favourite character dies, then it'd be like, no! So what I want to do is if you are watching this, I want you to down in the comments after you've watched this episode, tell me who you like, who you want to die, who you don't want to die or who you don't like. I just want to see what people's impressions are on like what characters and I'll let you know as to who I like, who I don't like, who I favour more. So YouTubers. Let's get to know these characters. Let's put ourselves in these characters' shoes and let's watch some creepy shit happen. YouTubers, let's play on the PS. friend. Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? I've waited for you. I've waited. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting. Yes and terrifying but if you're brave enough if you let me help you i can help you we can help each other you didn't find anything and so i've nothing to show you you need to look harder the cards are out there if you don't help me how can i help you we're supposed God. to be friends you said so yourself Search harder. Only you can find them. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover. On which I can shed light. If you let me. Help me help you. And remember. What doesn't kill you. Will make you stronger. So that was the opening, this is like... Packets quarry forever, eh? Yeah?
Peace and love. See you later, kids. Oh, yeah, seconds. Hackett's quarry forever. <laughs> oh, God, these lot are your typical high school. You know how many hearts American. are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. You never know. Hmm. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me. Okay, spell it. Nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, beat a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Who is Emma? Jake. Bags. Focus. She's a bossy son, sir. Let's have a little look around first. Oh, what's this down here? What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood sign. Huh. Let's have a look through the windows now that we're in the daylight. Jesus Christ. Hey. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. Broken. Dylan, please. I can't it's, it's I gotta get the last bags in there. Come wrong on with this thing. It's just Dylan, closing. please! Sorry, bro. Cool. Thanks, guys. Go for it. Right. Yep. Right, okay. Camp Lake, okay. Nearly seven years. So that's an important fact. Will these facts come into play? Who knows? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful place, but at night, I mean, look at that view. At night, it looks like a piece of shit. There's that book, and there's that. <laughs> Skill. Let's just have a look around. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. Well, you're in a fucking horror. here let's have a look through here wow so this is like is there anything through here no nope. reception Have a look around. That fridge is bloody loud. A 
can hear some water dripping. Is that a pantry? Man, that's a bad place to get stuck. Wow, it's full of blood and that. Not the nicest place. Well, there we go. A card. Temperance to be balanced, to consume in moderation or indulge in excess. Temperance, take it or leave it. But remember sometimes with temperance comes deferred gratification. Okay, that woman at the intro wanted cards, so. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, this looks like some uh, a serving room. Hey, look at it, it's massive though. <clears throat> All right, got the bags. Great, all by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh, oh sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you were telling me how you... Totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Oh, sexy. sexy, huh? How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby. Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please. Yep, that's it. That's everyone. Going over the head. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Be brave. Oh, but, I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, empty nest, retirement, grandkid, 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 uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry, that was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see, ah, here it is, yours just says... Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all men list. Well, oh, that seems legit. <laughs> okay, so, are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that 
even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> um, steal the rotor arm. Don't want to break the fuel line. you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Damage the car. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. Do, 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 do. Long. Oh, Nick. Mm, got it. Boom. Oh, oh. there it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh. Uh, Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh, freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? You know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency? Oh, Ben. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burned. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot star who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah, keep German, Junior. Getting to know the characters. Oh, we're down at the camp now. Abigail, R5. She's a bit of an artist, didn't she? Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh boy, you're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> so that's Fuck how Mary said the blonde one. Yep. What? It's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Break in. Okay, let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three! Ugh. Mm. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're We're gonna think it was a bear? Oh, like this. my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts! Mmm, let's have a cookie. This was little Izzy's. I wanna play a game! No, we don't steal. Yeah, you can probably just stay here, you creepy little thing. Hmm, what's this? 
Why would this place be in the news? Newspaper headline scrap. A scrap from the local newspaper. The North Kill Gazette. It doesn't look recent. Something about fire. Was it here? Ah, uh, it's quiet. Actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. Don't think there's anything else in here, is there? Nope, let's go. What's this? Dylan is not going to be happy that the kids just left this year. Camp song, a recording from years gone by. Technology. <laughs> okay. I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. Room six. We've got something here. Evidence. What's this? Everyone likes a scavenger hunt. And at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods. Fun secrets that, should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence. And you may just prove your innocence. Or not. Huh, okay. I've chosen. Hackett's quarry is full of twists and turns, unknown paths and unexplored wonders. With each step taken, you tread a path of your own, matched with its very own consequences. There will be moments throughout your stay that show you that the choices you've made, the path you've chosen, could have gone another way. At Hackett's Quarry, there's no such thing as the wrong way. But be warned, some paths are more dangerous than others. All right, okay. Quick time events. Take a moment to consider the following, as it will guide you through the various twists and turns that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. What you see here are quick time events, or QTEs, which will help you to act at just the right time. Watch your step. Hackett's Quarry can be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Take your eye off the ball, and it could spell disaster. The path you tread is yours to choose, but that doesn't mean there won't be obstacles along the way. Okay. Anything else? Interrupts. At certain times throughout the night, opportunities will present themselves, giving you the chance to take matters into your own hands. It is worth noting that they are only suggestions. You don't have to act upon them. In fact, sometimes it's better not to. Right, okay. Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. Space. Ugh. Ugh, what is that? Is it Dylan's? Ugh. I 
and we're here at there's this big building that stands out. What is she doing? It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. Oh shit, a ghost. Hey, mm. you stop <gasps> that! <sighs> right, I think it's time to go. What's all this? Signposts. Right, okay. Could come useful later on. Ready to roll? Let's do it. Finally! It literally is a golf cutter. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what, you and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. <gasps> oh, wow! Oh. Nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Okay, Jinkies. so hypothetically, if Thelma. I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick. Could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Uh, scenic route, okay. Yes. Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. Um, let's be You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Shun you okay, well, now I'm really regretting it. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> she does love herself, doesn't she? My favorite spot? The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Mad secluded, right? Is that smoke? Oh shit. Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. They really like Speaking of which, we should, kind of stuff. we should probably, you know, get back. Oh yeah, worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you? Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. Everyone seems to be spoken for here. Like, they've just gone on. Oh shit, I'm being watched by a far. That's not good. Very creepy indeed. 
Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas. So. Oh fuck me. <laughs> oh idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here, anyways, dude. Okay, this place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy. What? No. Patchy balls. It's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? Hey, Nick. <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. That's Biddens. Just gotta get these I'll bags up onto the. Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because I mean, it's really not that big. She of a can deal. take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Wow. Cool. Talk about over. Ugh. Nudge, nudge. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sure, they can both take care of their own bags. Abby's got a crush. Abby's got a crush. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. He's looking nice. for That's werewolves. Cool. What's it about? Oh, um, protective, friendly. Uh, let's go friendly. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell Jesus. like a butt. No, it's a... It's a <laughs> Paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Okay. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, I don't think the she Hag wants of to Hackett's know about quarry. the Hag of Hackett's oh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um... There's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods Ooh. looking for her lost baby boy. There I like, like that woman in the woods, the ghost. Whispers, Silas. And then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you. Or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggins Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Listen to the podcast. Uh, you should have seen the kids. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for life. <laughs> you gotta be careful with this stuff, man. Well, this shit's true. Do bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, I'm nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Oh, there he is. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. We had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies with all his ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! Ugh. Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. It doesn't fucking matter anyway. <laughs> Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, 
Okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to try and play the characters like they're meant to be. Let's try and be understanding. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. There you go. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm going to have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> it's Dewey off, oh, uh, uh, sorry. back in the day. Scary Hello. movie. Oh, need to find out the secrets of this place. <laughs> They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll give it This is a waste of time. You know what, you know what? If he was in the area... No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. All right, okay. Yeah, of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't. Oh. Uh, I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. What I are mean, you I heard. Doing? Uh, I mean, I would. I didn't. First you rule: you We're do cool, not champ. linger just by the door. On. Sorry, I pushed you out like that. As soon as you hear footsteps, you just get away from the door. Rule number one: e uh, You need a hand looking for the keys. Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing. What you thought I should do? Right. Y you know. And whether or not I should like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know. My mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. Hmm. Let's have a look. He doesn't seem the kind of person to get frustrated. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> oh, we kinda know. So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But... Do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Okay. Um... Sorry, apologetic. I, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to Kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys kumbaya. don't do Kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Fucking hell, even I know what Kumbaya is. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Uh, 
Why? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Yeah, sure it is. Just give me a minute. I smell Where a fish. The good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? He sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But no, all he's been doing is listen to his podcast. <laughs> Fucking help. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Mm. Right where I left him. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You should have turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. <laughs> you fucking noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Ugh. Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go it wrong. Go on, Maybe you're doing it wrong. Stop being a move. Fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Okay, now it's official. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Guy's losing his shit. <sighs> Say he's ah! <sighs> really losing okay. his shit. Damn it. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Maybe maybe go and have a cold shower, mate. Hey Brian. Come here for a sec. It loves Ryan, doesn't it? Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Sounds kind of serious. So we'll try and be compliant? Yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! Why don't we just take them in the power then? So, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are 
You kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or. Or we could do something else. I'm gonna play it safe. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay. Party! Okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out. You know, two like, shoes. Um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? It did seem to freak out. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say yeah, you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you, uh, you don't want to disappoint Daddy. And the group is part of Ryan. Oh. Let's just Whatever, let man. it go. It's gonna be fine, man. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. Oh, great. Now I'm being watched with a sniper rifle. Fuck, oh, hunters. I mean, one's covered in blood. Why are they smothering the face with blood? Can't be for camouflage. <laughs> Can it? Hunting season. Oh, this doesn't look good. Good. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Oh, the crazy woman's back. Let's see what you found. Temperance. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes... With temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. Well, yeah, that's the whole point of come to see. I was hoping you'd say like that. Cards. Like Mystic Meg. Let's see Dylan. 
You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. I just want to know who she is. Okay, YouTubers, we are just going to stop right there. <sighs> Creepy old hag. She's um, claiming to be our friend. I don't really know what that's about. It seems as though that you can collect cards for, like, spoilers as to... She wants to help show us a future and prevent killing off any of the cats. Um, characters. Char oh, Jacob. Jacob has stranded them uh, by taking the rotor arm from the actual van. Uh, we, they, they're the reason he wanted to spend a summer with Emma. I'm a bit up and down about him. Um, he's a bit of a goofball. He's a bit cringe, but also I kind of feel for him because he's been rejected by Emma. Emma is such, she kind of loves herself a little bit, but the thing is with Emma, I didn't really like her at first, but because she kind of teases him and plays mind games with him, it kind of makes that character dynamic very interesting between them. So. I kind of have them on side, in my opinion. You've got the whole Nick and Abigail situation. Abigail is just sweet, very likeable, not like a rule break kind of person. I kind of like her, um, not like loads, but you know, she's kind of sweet. And then she, you've got Nick who, I've not really had time to get to know Nick yet, but Nick seems like a cool type of guy and you've got like a love connection there. Um, and then you've got the three last characters. We've got Ryan, he seems like a very leader type of character. I, I do like Ryan, he's got more about him. Uh, he listens to podcasts, he's very educated and he knows what to do, what not to do, but he's kind of outweighed by the party's decisions to want to party. And then he's also he's gay I think or he might be bisexual Dylan's gay Dylan I don't know Dylan I just not really connecting with him for some reason uh, don't get me wrong he's cool I'm, I'm playing him nice because I like Ryan so I want to play him up to Ryan see if there's something there and then Caitlin Caitlin is I don't really know I've not really had time to spend with, a lot of time with Caitlin she seemed a bit arsy at the beginning but a little bit bitchy but I don't I need more time, I need more time with Nick, I need more time with Caitlin uh, to understand them. So, YouTubers, what do you think? Who do you not like? Who do you like with the characters? It's a bit of a slow build, but when you get invested with your characters and then put them for a bloodshed, that's where it starts to kick off. That's where the investment comes and it starts, that's the payoff. That's the payoff right there. YouTubers, if you enjoyed this episode, episode two of the quarry then consider going down there and smashing that like button let's destroy that youtube algorithm together and if you're new here consider scrolling on over the, to the other side hitting that subscribe button if you want future videos from this channel and if you want notifications as to when those go live just ring a ling that ding -a ling bell YouTubers, if you're on the market for the quarry and you are enjoying this content and you want to experience it for yourself and take your own path or just kill the characters your own way or save the characters your own way, there is an affiliate link down in the description below which you can click on to purchase your own copy. You'd be helping this channel out massively. However, if you just want to come by and interact with the channel for free, there are my socials right there. If you want to get in touch with me about anything on the quarry, and YouTubers, I'm your host for Don't Flicks as always. I'm Beef Duke.